When we open the Noise Tools software and there's no instrument connected, this window here will be blank. What we'll do is we can plug in the USB cable. Depending on the configuration of your computer, you may see this autoplay window. What we can do is close it or we can minimize it out of the way. If this is the first time that this instrument has been connected to the Noise Tool software, the software will look at the serial number of the meter and determine whether the wizard has been run or not. We'll step through this wizard quickly so we can see the options available to us. We can choose the language, English. We can choose time and date format, so we'll select day, month, year, and the time format displayed in, in the instrument. We can also choose the lower and upper analog bar colours. On the left hand side of every Optimus there is an analog bar which goes from green to yellow to red. This is the point at which it goes from green to yellow. This is the point at which it goes from yellow to red. And we can change these values by adjusting the numbers or we can move the sliders. Every Optimus analog meter has an ambient light sensor which can measure the light in which the instrument is being used and use an automatic screen brightness adjustment. If you want to have the, the Optimus fixed brightness on the display, deselect this box and choose the setting. Recommended you leave this setting as it is. Also, the Optimus will dis dim the display after a certain amount of time to save battery life and also save the screen. This is before the screen saver is activated. We'll leave this on five minutes and click next. The integrators are generally set up to be UK with one second data rate, but we can select other values from this list. You can also configure these manually within the instrument. We can select the time use data rate storage. In this instrument we'll select one second. And if voice tag is available, this box can be selected. We select next, we can type in a name. So we can call this any particular instrument that we want to. So we can give a name that can be identified later. Save to the instrument and close.